So here I am restoring my uh, Buick logo from the front of my Electra, Buick Electra 225 1963. Um, so the first thing I did was I disassembled the front uh, trim with the logo in the center. Here's what I found when I disassembled it. So first of all, this was on here like this with this piece across the back. I don't rem remember exactly which way, but let's, I think it's probably like this. Oops, it broke. And then these speed nuts were holding it onto the bracket. There's two of those, one on each of these prongs right here. So once you remove those, it needs a couple of turns and they pull off. You can remove the back piece. As I said, I, I soaked that to get remove it from the plastic, but pre previous to that, I actually just separated. You can see that the plastic just comes away from the metal. So the metal piece, the chrome metal piece, covers this diagonal stripe. So I've really got to focus on the red, white, and blue areas, the stag's head and the, the uh, chrome stag's head and the cross. So I actually soaked this, I sprayed this with simple green on the back to help loosen up the paint. Um, and then I soaked it in this little bowl with a, um, I, I added some water to the simple green, let it soak overnight. Uh, as you can see, most of the red and the white came off. Um, the blue seems to have stuck a little harder than the red and the white. Um, so what I then did was, you can see in the corners, like, right here on a close-up you can just see about in the corners on the middle one um, that there was uh, some residue left so what i did was i got one of the picks like a, a little pick that i had on a cheap set from i think it was from harbor freight and i just lightly scratched into the corners to remove the uh, paint that was stuck so there's still a little bit stuck at the top here you can see it just comes off but very lightly i also uh, scrubbed it with a, a nail brush let me show you that <clears throat> also scrubbed it lightly with a nail brush just up and down to try and get into these little uh, little ridges that are on the back of the plastic um, i'm going to work a little bit more on the blue that one seems to have stuck a little bit more but now i'm pretty confident that I can get this looking good. Um, I've got to fill in the stag head and the cross. I'm going to buy the uh, Molotow uh, chrome pen. Uh, they sell them, apparently they have them in stock at Hobby Lobby. You can get them online as well. Um, so my plan is to fill in the cross and the stag head with chrome first and then apply. It's going to, like I said before, be either enamel paint or uh, nail polish to the back, to the back side to re restore the color. But overall, I'm feeling confident that I can get this now looking pretty good. Well, something slightly disappointing that I've run into. Um, so I bought the uh, chrome pen, and as you can see, I've applied some to the back. It doesn't look too bad. However, it looks pretty dull on the front side. Um, it's not as shiny chrome as uh, the back. Let me show you the back again. So you can't, it's a pretty good mirror. Uh, the reason is that the plastic down in uh, where the little cross is, like right here, and the stag, the plastic's a little dull, and I couldn't polish it out. So I cleaned it up as well as I could. But because the plastic is slightly dull on the back side, when I put the chrome pen paint down into it, it looks great on the back. But the fact that the plastic is not clear down in the bottom of these recesses means that it comes out a little dull on the other side. So overall, I'm getting some chrome back on there, but uh, it's not as shiny as I would have liked. So I've decided that before I do the color on the back, I'm actually going to take care of the front surface of the plastic, which is kind of dull. Um, so uh, I want to clean that up, polish it and seal it before I do the back so that I'm not uh, 
uh, doing any sanding after I've applied the colors. So I got a um, lens renewal kit, which includes a wheel, some sanding discs and polishing and polishing compound and whatnot. It's from Harbor Freight and also a uh, buffing, uh, like a wool buffing uh, wheel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the couple of uh, grades of grit paper on here um, and then polish it uh, and then seal it. That'll take care of the front part of the plastic should brighten it up and then I can go ahead and do the chrome and the color on the back. So what I found with this lens kit is um, for plastic like this, I already did the tail lights of my car and they come up really nice. Um, I started just with the, um, I think it's the 1000 and then the 2000, but it wasn't biting in enough. I found I needed to take a little bit more off the plastic. So this time I'm going to start with the, the 800, then go to the 1000 and then go to the polishing. Um, so here we go. So first step, I just went lightly over with the 800, about this kind of speed, but very lightly. And uh, the objective is to just, I don't know if we can see this on the, in the light, but just to kind of get a, like an even surface over the top. So the next step is to wet sand the surface now to smooth it out and polish it up a little bit. Um, this is actually a 3000 grit. I said 1000 before. This is actually a 3000. So you, you do it wet. Um, so I'm going to apply some moisturize this, you know, wet the surface and go over a few times with this. And uh, again, try to get a good even surface on the uh, face of the pieces. So I've now finished with the 3000 grit. I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. So I'm going to move to the polishing phase. So for that, I'm going to, I've taken this out of the drill and I'm going to move to the polishing pad with the uh, polishing compound. So now I've gone over three or four passes with the polishing compound. I'm pretty happy with the result. You can see the shine on there now. So I think that's enough and time to put the sealer on. The sealer I'm using, uh, this particular kit doesn't come with a sealer, um, but uh, my son has some of the Meguiar's uh, headlamp restoring kit, and that has some uh, sealer. So that's what I'm going to use to seal the uh, top surface of this plastic. So here's the Meguiar's uh, headlight restoration kit. Um, I didn't use this one because it... Um, it has drill powered polishing, but uh, for the sanding, you have to do it manually with this sponge. And that's uh, way more effort than putting it into the drill. So to seal it, there's this uh, pad here and inside the box here somewhere. We have the uh, sealing compound. Headlight sealant, and this works great to seal the surface of the plastic and preserve the shine. So here's the finished item. Uh, the sealer is still drying, but look, you can see the shine on there. You can see the reflection of the lights. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm now at the start of restoring the colors on here. So I've been, uh, I've seen online, some pe one guy uh, recommended using nail polish, which I think is great. If you've got uh, a weird shade uh, that you need for the badge, um, obviously nail polish comes in a huge variety of colors. So that's a great tip. I did check that at my local Rite Aid, but they didn't have anything that matched exactly to what I was looking at for these Buick colors. So I went to uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, they have this uh, model, uh, plastic model paint. It's like enam modeling an enamel. It's like $2 a pot. Um, and I picked the colors that I thought were closest. I, I think I got lucky because there were only like two or three shades of blue and a couple of shades of two or three shades of red. Um, but uh, the blue 
Um, so I've mixed it up. I've done a little sample. You can see the dot right there and the same thing with the red down here. The white I couldn't quite find, um, but uh, I brought some touch-up paint, the Duplicolor. Um, this is Arctic White. Um, I forget the code. Uh, here we go. Here's the cap. So yeah, you can see that. WA9567. Um, and the code I think they sell it under is BGM0153. That was Arctic White, so I was doing that for some touch-up on the uh, rear end of my uh, Buick. Um, but then I was looking through the whites in the modeling store, and they didn't really have anything that's to suit. And, I, and then I, the penny suddenly dropped. Why don't I just use the touch-up paint, spray some into the pot, into the cap, which I've done right here. And I've put a first test area on here, and I'm actually pretty happy with the uh, color match. So I've got the modeling red on this shield here. I've got the white from the Duplicolor can here, and then I've got the modeling blue, modeling paint blue enamel uh, right there. And I think these are pretty close. You can see that blue is pretty close to the original. Um, the white I'm happy with because it was a slightly off white. It wasn't like a bright white. And the red uh, looks perfect. Um, what I did was um, I, most of the red was off this badge, so I took a photograph of the um, badge that's in the center of my steering wheel that hasn't been sun damaged. And that red is a very, very close match. So yeah, I'm happy with the paint selection. So now it's to continue the painstaking work. I've actually got to remove some more of this blue. I've got to clean up these uh, antlers on the stag, which are a pain, but I'm gonna to have to scratch some of that. Uh, to get the chrome into the antlers, I had to put a little bit extra on and it kind of got into some of the other grooves, but then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over that with my pick and scratch it out later before I put the color on. So first test, uh, happy with the colors that I've selected. Um, so one problem I've run into is that uh, the color wasn't coming all the way through and it's because I hadn't cleaned up all of the little ridges so I don't know if you can see this, but uh, some of the red, I've begun scraping it off, but you can see how so it's, the color's not coming all the way through. That's because there was still a deposit and stain with the blue area right here. If I can get it in focus. So this is because some of the pre-old material I hadn't managed to get off completely. So if you look, I'm now having to go backwards and clean off the enamel that I put on there because if you see here you see the shine on these ones where the pick is pointing to you can see a slight shine uh, I don't know if that was um, it's more of a white color but I don't know if it was uh, bleached paint that was left on there that I hadn't got off but uh, bottom line is um, you see to the left of the pick where I've cleaned that off I'm scraping off the enamel that I put on there, and then I'm cleaning it with acetone um, with a, uh, a Q-tip. Uh, so I'm dipping it in acetone and rubbing it off. And you can see there to the left of the pick that it's nice and clear. But if you've got any deposits for old paint or anything of the, that type, um, make sure you get that off. Like I said, that you can see that uh, color there just where the pick, at the, uh, at the tip of the pick right there so that's my tip is make sure you get off all of the old paint otherwise because the, the new paint obviously has to go all the way through the plastic and show through to the other side um, so pay attention to that and I found that acetone cleans it off best with a q-tip 